don't ruin it. Subscribe to Spaghetti Noobs. Hey guys, Spaghetti Noob here. Today I have a special video for you. Today we are unboxing the HJC Arfa 70 ST. So uh, we're going to get this started and we're going to see what it looks like. I haven't uh, opened it up yet, so I don't actually know what it, what it looks like inside the packaging. So uh, let's get started. All right, so we have this. Wow. Beautiful box here that you guys can see. Um, so I actually ordered another part with it. I don't know if it's going to be actually inside um, or if it's going to be shipped separately. And then here we have the top. I love this box. I'm just going to put this guy right here. I'll open it this way. Ooh. Slippery. There we go. So we got a quick owner's manual for this specific model. Then we got the owner's manual for just all the HTC helmets. I'm just gonna put these guys back in. This part should come right up. Now you're looking inside the box. All right, so they may have put this in here already. So they may have actually opened this and put this in here because I actually had to order a different face shield. I checked and it didn't come with it and it's supposed to be, you know, the gold mirrored face shield and you'll see why in just a few minutes. So let's see what else we got. Looks like we got um, the pin lock. It comes with, uh, it's pin lock ready visor and you have your inserts. So we'll just put those aside. Just going to take it out of the box. And we're going to actually put the box aside. I love, I love just this, uh, the, uh, I can't even think of what it's called. So excited. The helmet case here. Oh, so awesome. This one actually looks a bit worn out, but that is that is super awesome. I don't even put my regular helmets in the uh, in the helmet case. Looks like we got a chin guard or a chin scoop. Put that aside. No, I guess it's upside down. Put this here so it doesn't get dirty. And here we have the Iron Man Homecoming helmet graphic design.
You get the arc reactor right at the back. You got Stark Industries all over the side. And there you have, let's change out, uh, um, let's see, well first I'll probably see how it fits, um, and then I'll open the gold visor and put the gold visor on. It didn't actually come with the gold visor, I had to um, purchase this separately, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, but it's a pin lock ready shield. Um, so, the last helmet that I tried to purchase and I have the video of it, was the HAC Arfa um, 11 Pro, which, is, which was the Venom helmet, and that one didn't actually fit my head. I have two videos about that. Um, I love that helmet so much. Um, and now HTC came out with a whole bunch of other helmets, and this is the Arfa 70. So I'm hoping to try and see if this helmet fits, um, fits my head shape. Even, even their vents here, they're just, they work so well with the art here. I mean, this is a this is a really big um, vent here, and it looks like you have some exhaust in the back, um, and they are responsive. Looks like they're very responsive, so you know when they're clicked. Hopefully, they're not the type where you know you get like dirt and gravel inside of them, and then you don't you can't tell if they're open or closed. And looks like you also have one um, down here, and then oh, that was a bit oily. That's weird. Um, and I think there's one over here. Um, I don't really look too much into the helmet. Um, I did look a oh, I did look a lot into the the regular Arfas, so let's open it so you can see it. It has a side switch here for your internal visor, which is pretty cool. It comes out really far, which means this probably isn't uh, Snell rating, because Snell yeah it's not Snell because Snell um. Anytime you have an internal face shield, it's not Snell rated. Uh, here's your ratings at the back. Dot and ECE. So let's um, let's open this up here. Let me close the visor to see how it fits. Hopefully, he doesn't squeeze my head because I really love this design. And I'd really like to keep it. Um, if it does fit, I'll do another video with uh, me riding. But if it doesn't fit, you know, can't I can't have a video, or I can't have a can't return it if I ride with it. So I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, looks like there's also emergency cheek pack removal uh, system. I don't know if you can see it. You just pull those tabs out over here. If you ever get in an accident, the EMTs can do that. So let's just go. I mean, so far, um, so far it's a nice, maybe I'll do this. So far it's a pretty nice, tight fit, very snug. Um, what you really have to do when you get a helmet for the first time is you really have to wear it for a while just so you can know you know, how it feels. Typically, um, the first signs, if you start feeling like crammed in or feels like it's squeezing your brain, then it's going against your helmet shape, then right away you know that that's too big or too small, typically. Or sometimes it's too big, but, you know, just the way your helmet shape is, you know, you have oval, intermediate oval, and then typically round, and then some people's heads are shaped a lot differently. Um, but so far, it feels pretty nice. Um, I do feel maybe a bit pressure at the top, um, but I'm not sure. Um, I also read up that you can get different um, internal pads, the, the liners and the cheek pads to help um, with that situation. So I'll see, I'll see how to go about that route. Oh, here's the other, here's the other vent. So what I don't kind of like so far is that this, this slide right here, um, I don't press anything, but it doesn't stay. Like, I don't know if I was shaking or it just came down on its own. And it doesn't lock. So, look at that. See, I, I can just push it up. So, there's no locking mechanism. Just 
slide it up. So that that's kind of interesting. It looks like it does lock back. So, so far, even just, you know, aside from being indoors or no wind, um, it's a pretty breathable helmet so far. Um, I think I'd probably put that um, chin scoop on just to eliminate um, gaps um, right here. Um, so far, it feels all right. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to take the helmet off. It fits, it fits really nice. I, I think this is definitely a keeper now. So I believe this has the quick disconnect system. So let's see how that goes. I mean, you're already at, you're already here at the side view. I think if you just press here, yeah, it just pops right out, which is really awesome. The last helmet, or the helmet I have currently have is such a pain, and sometimes it doesn't, um, doesn't work. Oh, I think it already came off. Yeah. I pressed it a little and it came off. So, um, as you can see here in the face shield, looks like it's um, as wide range for um, your pin lock or good field of vision. So we're just gonna put that aside here. Not suitable, <laughs> not suitable for street use, reserved for uses in circuit tracks, competition, and decoration only. Did they really have that? Like, that can't be real. There's mirrored visors all the time. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so here's your face shield. And let's put it on. Actually, I'll just I'll do side view again. I probably should have watched that first part. That side's in. This side's in. Wow, that was actually really easy. So now you have, oh, looks like I didn't put that one side in. All right, let's see, no, two moment. Oh, I'm losing fingerprints on this. All right, now I think I got it. There we go. So now you have, <laughs> that looks so amazing. That's so good. So now you have your your Iron Man helmet. It's something that I've been wanting forever, ever since I was like a little kid. I wanted my own Iron Man helmet. And granted, it's not what you would want, like, thinking, but this is the closest you can probably get. And if they can design something like this with actual HUD, even though that, that's for a whole nother video on the HUD helmets and smart helmets, but. I mean, that's, this looks pretty, pretty awesome. I don't think I've got, um, did I put it in right? Or is this, is this just difficult to, I'm not used to like your center, like a locking one. I've never had a locking helmet. Yeah, it's definitely on. I never had a locking helmet. Um, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing. You do have to pay extra for the mirrored gold visor, um, but it's definitely worth it. Let's uh let's see how what the vision looks like with it in. So 
So what do you guys think about this helmet? Um, it's pretty breathable indoors. Hopefully you can hear me outside from here. I mean, it just looks, it just looks amazing. And so far the, the Arfa 70 ST is, um, feels okay on my head. So I'll probably be able to keep this as opposed to the, the Venom helmet. HJC Arfa 70 Street helmet with the spaghetti noob. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell. Thank you, and have a good day.